Hi everyone and welcome to the weekly product update. Uh, on this week we'll be speaking about networking. That's right, whether you want to build a video game, a VR app or even a mobile app, networking is a subject that you need to know about. I spent the whole week learning about it and I built a networking solution for Love in VR. So in this video I will explain to you what I learned and how I built my solution. Networking for us is simply the science uh, behind making users communicate with each other. At Love in VR, the whole point of the app is to uh, have users date each other, and for that they need to communicate, they need to uh, ask each other on a date, they need to speak to each other, they need to see each other's move. Uh, so all of that is networking. Uh, it's basically all about how do you send uh, data from one user to the other and vice versa. So um, I started this week thinking that I could build my own networking solution uh, for Love in VR. I was very naive one week ago. Um, and then so I started reading a bit about the topic. Uh, I thought naively the whole, uh, uh, the whole thing would simply be you know, opening a, a socket. Uh, a socket is like a network address saying I am here ready to send and receive data. So I thought it was all about opening a, a socket on one user and then on another user, giving it, each other the, the socket details and et voila, uh, they could communicate. Uh, but turns out it's uh, much more complicated than that. I started to build the solution actually, uh, but then I came across concepts like uh, N80 firewalls or uh, hole punching, you know, a bunch of um, quite complex uh, uh, things that uh, you know I, I had to understand if I wanted to build my own solution and then I was like okay is this really worth my time there are probably a hundred great solutions out there that have been done already and that's a bit of, um, of a lesson as a developer you, your instinct is uh, often to build your own custom things for, for the app it's always better to have something that is uh, completely customized to what you want to build uh, but sometimes you need to recognize that the effort is simply not worth the, the price. And so I looked at existing solutions uh, and I isolated two uh, that I thought could, could work for me. One is called uh, UNET, uh, it's Unity's own solution. Uh, Unity is the software I use to develop Love in VR. And the other one is uh, called Photon. And Photon is the one I chose ultimately. Uh, Unit seemed very decent, uh, but it seemed to lack a bit in documentation compared to Photon, and also it was much more expensive. I've quickly noticed that Photon, uh, even though it's great, has its limitation. And uh, let me issue a fair warning here. Uh, be prepared to be slightly mindfucked by the whole thing. Uh, it can get pretty complicated. So uh, Photon, like many networking solutions, um, has the concept of lobby on rooms. When you're in a Photon room, which is a virtual room, you're not actually in a room, but from the viewpoint of a photon, they, they call that a room. Anyway, uh, only if you're in a photon room, you can uh, send data to other users in the room. Uh, so say you want to uh, see another user uh, move and speak, uh, only if that other user uh, is in the same photon room as you, uh, they can send uh, their data to you and therefore you can see them move and speak. Uh, so far, not too complicated. Uh, the lobby, uh, again, a virtual lobby. You don't know as a user that you're in a lobby. Uh, the lobby is the place uh, in Photon where you can see available rooms, uh, right? So uh, you can uh, see a list of rooms and you're like, okay, in that room, uh, there is a friend of mine that I want to uh, communicate with, uh, so let me uh, let me go in that room so I can, you know, send uh, my voice data, my uh, movement data to, to him, and, and therefore communicate with him. So I thought, 
Right, that actually fits uh, Love in VR quite well because uh, in Love in VR we actually have uh, a physical lobby and physical rooms. Uh, as you know, uh, in Love in VR you arrive uh, in our hotel reception, hotel lobby. Uh, you can see uh, all the bungalows that are there, that have uh, users in it. And if you want to date uh, someone, you uh, ring on their bungalow door and if they want to uh, to date you, they open their door and you're in the bungalow. So I was like, you know, that's that seems to be a good match. When uh, our users are in the Love in VR lobby, they will be at the same time in the Photon virtual lobby. And when they're in the Love in VR bungalow, which is when they need to date, uh, they will be in a Photon room. Uh, so they can, you know, communicate. Uh, so that made sense to me. Here comes the mindfuck. Uh, so in Love in VR, you're actually at the same time uh, in the lobby and in your room. Let me show you. Here I'm in the lobby. I, uh, I walk around uh, looking for a date. So there I see, oh, Brad Pitt. That looks like, uh, well, he's not in VR, but... If he was, I would be like, um, you know, uh, very interesting. Uh, sounds like a good date. Uh, if I was a girl, obviously, let me uh, date him, um, and and so on and so forth with with Norman uh, But the thing is, uh, at the same time, I'm also in my bungalow because the other users looking around for a date they need to see me as available, right? So if you look uh, right here, that's that's me, uh, Arno. I'm shown as available in my bungalow, even though I am right here in the lobby looking for a date, uh, right? So in a way, I'm like Schrodinger's cat. Uh, I'm in two states at once. Uh, you should really get this reference, by the way. Uh, anyway. Uh, the reason I did that was uh, if when I was available, I would uh, have to be alone in my bungalow, uh, the whole app would be uh, very boring, right? Uh, I, uh, uh, when I'm not on a date, I want to be out there looking for a date, uh, but I also want to be shown to other users as being available for a date. Uh, okay, uh, you're still there. I haven't... Uh, completely confused you. So if you're still with me, uh, things are about to get even more complicated. Turns out that Photon has two limitations uh, that make it very difficult for me to make things work the way I want. Uh, the first limitation is only if you are in the lobby, you can see uh, available rooms. Uh, so you cannot be in a room and look at what other rooms are available. And uh, also, you cannot have empty rooms uh, in Photon. So uh, if you are in the lobby checking which other rooms are available, you cannot, you won't be, your room won't be there. So you won't be shown as available to date uh, to other users. So uh, basically what I want, uh, being two state at once, uh, is not possible in Photon. I actually found a workaround. Uh, there is actually a way in Photon to keep a room alive during a, a little while. Uh, so I could implement a solution where in Photon um, I could continuously jump from uh, my room to the lobby. So uh, uh, be in my room to keep it alive so other users see it as available. And then uh, go in the lobby to check which other rooms are available. Then go back to my room, go back to the lobby and so on and so forth. But this felt very clunky uh, somehow. So I've actually come back to building my own solution uh, via my server. So the way uh, I've actually done things is that as soon as a user uh, uh, is in the app, he continuously sends uh, status updates uh, to my server. Uh, so status update being like, you know, I'm that user and I'm available or I'm in a date and all the users uh, receive uh, status updates uh, from all the other users in the app. So they can see uh, 
whether other users are in a date or available. Uh, and also it is via my server that the date request uh, mechanic happens. Uh, so uh, if you want to request someone on a date, uh, you first send that request to my server, which then sends it to that user and that user's reply also comes uh, via my server. I will still use Photon though, uh, but only after users are actually on a date. Uh, I will use Photon to uh, um, to send uh, the data, like the, the voice data, uh, movement data, so that once they're in a date uh, via Photon, users will be able to uh, see each other's uh, speak and move, uh, basically. Anyhow, I've built my solution, so let's test it. I am the only available user in the app. Uh, I'm the only one in VR. Uh, all the Brad Pitts uh, are offline right now. So I will have to date myself. Uh, what does that make me if I date myself? Am I egosexual? Homo egosexual? Uh, I don't know. Aren't we all egosexual in a way? Hmm. Think about it. Uh, Anyway, I hope that won't break anything if I date myself. Um, it really shouldn't be possible. Uh, probably it won't be possible. Of course, it won't be possible in the final app. Uh, but it's quite practical for testing uh, when I am the only one um, in VR right now. So, want a date with Arno right now? Sure. Ring the bell. Give Arno a moment to decide. And so it sends a date request to me. Uh, so I should receive it. There I am. Arnaud wants a date with you. Uh, one minute 26 seconds left to decide. And I am in my bungalow. That is very, very deep. It's like inse inception level stuff. Uh, I am in my bungalow about to agree that Arno comes in my banner. Uh, but I won't click there because uh, uh, that won't work. I can't <laughs> actually be speaking with myself. Uh, so yeah, uh, I just did that uh, so you could, uh, you could see. By the way, that's my wedding picture. Uh, anyway, it works. Yeah. If there is anyone left out there, uh, thank you for watching. I hope it wasn't too complex. I've tried to uh, put things as, as simply as I could. Uh, but uh, when it comes to product development, you don't only face uh, simple problems, uh, unfortunately. Uh, so that's just the way things are. Uh, I hope you still like the video. If you did, uh, please give it a thumb up and uh, subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to watch uh, this week's weekly question video. Uh, we've registered the company the legal entity and uh, we fill you in on the main uh, things we looked at uh, when we did so. Uh, so that's it for now. Uh, thanks again for watching and see you next week.